So we know about Chance Warmack taking some snaps with the first team this week along the offensive line. We thought a change was coming. Jeff McLean had the report saying that Warmack was going to start left guard this Sunday against the Giants. Well, according to Doug Peterson, in a press conference yesterday, well, a decision hasn't been made yet. Doug, why the change at left guard? Why the change? Who, who made the change? Did you make a change? I have not made a change yet, no. So Isaac's still the left guard? As of right now, we're uh, still evaluating. That's another one of these safety questions. It's still being evaluated, and I'll talk to Stout on that as we go forward. So how are you doing it? Are you, are you working both in with the first we're team, getting, or is it just We're uh, getting them both ready to go. Yeah, getting them both ready to go. Doug, so is that, is that Stoutland's call, or how do you go about making that decision? No, I mean, it's, uh, it's really uh, it's mine and his. Um, we, we just need to evaluate uh, uh, how, how these two guys are doing in practice. Uh, go back and watch all the game film from not only preseason, but the first two games, obviously, and, um, and, and just make a, make a decision that's best for the team. Did you get more reps with the first team yeah. on left guard today than – in the previous practices? Uh, they had me doing everything, man. Uh, you know, I'm not really in, in a position to tell you specifically like what's going on in terms of the reps, but I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm right, left, one of those tools, I'm everywhere. All right, let's take a look at what Chance Warmack is as a football player. I went and looked at some All-22 film from his days at Tennessee. Also looked at some of his preseason stuff from this year as well. So I looked at 2015, 2016, and here is what I got. Warmack is at his best as a run blocker, using his power, using his strength. 6'2", 320. That's a big, big boy. So you look at the state of the offensive line right now, struggling to generate push up the middle. That's why a switch from Sayamalu to Warmack needs to be made. LeGarrette Blunt didn't even see a carry last week. Eagles average just 2.33 yards per carry on runs up the middle. They average 5.43 yards per carry on runs along the edges. But Darren Sproles is the back that runs that play best. Those outside sweeps, the outside zone. He's 34. He can't be seeing a heavy workload anymore. So you look at what Warmack can do. When he's drive blocking, hands and feet are constantly moving. Uses his power to completely wash defenders down the line of scrimmage. Fires low off the ball, generates leverage and force from the ground up through his base. His run blocking isn't bad. Wormack is a pretty solid combo blocker. Gets a strong initial punch on the initial double team. Able to move onto the second level, locate defenders, and overwhelm them. One more play before we get to the bad stuff. Some short area quickness, some quick feet here to hook and seal the outside shaded defender. Let's just say that Warmack is an inconsistent pass protector. That's putting it mildly. 13 and a half sacks allowed in three years worth of starts. Struggles with quickness. Can handle bull rushers because he is equally as powerful, able to set his anchor. But quickness, guys, he drops his head, he'll lunge, he goes for the knockout punch, sometimes too early. So that's where he gets into trouble in pass protection. Warmack's best play in pass protection right here. Look how wide the D tackles are. Forces Warmack left, and then he has to come all the way back right to block Claiborne. All right, let's take a look at the preseason now. No all 22 available, unfortunately. But Warmack really, really stunk against the Packers week one of the preseason. Gets beat outside shoulder here on the running play, and then doesn't pick up the linebacker blitzing. You can see the open vacancy there. So, struggled against Green Bay, but it did get better. After a disappointing opener against the Packers, Warmack settled down. Started playing some okay football. Couple goal line plays here, generating a lot of push. Driving those legs and driving that defender backwards. Alright, so a couple athletic plays here in the Miami game that I want to show you. A couple pulls. Here's a pull and a kickout block along the boundary for a five-yard gain, and a couple pulls where he's finding a linebacker on the second level and creating space for the running back to run through. So I thought the Miami game, he played pretty well, and it's not like he was playing backups in this game because Miami had its starters into the third quarter. And by the time the Jets game rolled around, he was playing backups at third stringers while well, he was really dominating. So you can see the push and the power on display. Doug can play all the games he wants. 
but I believe a change at guard is necessary. I'm not trotting Isaac Sayamalo back out there. He was awful in his first game, allowed four sacks in his second game. Let's see what Warmack can do. That's the way I'd go. And I don't think this is going to hurt Isaac Sayamalo's confidence. He knows that he's been bad. I'm preparing to play, you know, and regardless of what happens, um, whether I'm, you know, starting and playing or not, I'm going to be a great teammate, you know. I'm a Philadelphia Eagle first and foremost. Being in my second year, I've seen, you know, and heard about a lot of things. It doesn't, nothing, nothing surprises me, you know. Nothing's going to affect me. I'm going to, I'm going to get ready to play. And if I play, you know, I can't wait. Uh, if I don't, you know, I can't wait to see how good, you know, Chance or Wiz or whoever's playing that's going to play, you know. These guys are, there's no drop off. And these guys are going to play great with or with, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be good. I decide to not play Isaac. Do you have to worry about um, his psyche going forward? Um, no, I, I think, you know, if, if, if that's the decision, then uh, no, I don't. I think Isaac is a smart guy and he, he's sharp. He understands and, and uh, we'll be fine. All right, that wraps it up. I'm sticking to it. I'm starting Chance Warmack at left guard. Got to get this run game going. Got to run the ball, Doug. You got to do it. It opens up everything. And it'll make life so much easier for Carson Wentz.